Okay, by now you should have watched Will and Connor's video with the uh, paper kicking football game. We're going to turn those into fractions, decimals, and percentages. And we're first going to start with the fraction. So the fraction starts with, keep in mind the bottom is always how many total were possible. So how many times did Will kick the football? How many times? Eight. Eight. It was kicked eight times. So we're going to put eight on the bottom, and I believe that only three of them went in. So we put the three on the top. So Will made three field goals out of a total eight attempts. Now we're going to take this and turn it into a decimal. In order to turn any fraction into a decimal, you all actually should know how to do this. You simply do three divided by eight. So Connor's going to videotape this for me. Three divided by eight. Will, how many times does eight go into three? Uh, it doesn't, so you have to add the decimal. Add a decimal and some zeros, right? So, I mean, so eight can't go into three at all. Bring the decimal straight up. How many times can eight go into 30? Three. Three times, and eight times three, Will, is? 24. 24. Will, what's 30 minus 24? Six. Six. We're not done yet. We keep bringing down zeros. How many times does eight go into 60? Seven. Seven times. I'm going to give myself some space here. Goes in seven times. And eight times seven, Will, is? 56. 56. And 60 minus 56? Four. It's four. Still not done. Another zero. How many times is eight going to 40? Five. Five times exactly with none left over. So what this means is three eighths is equal to the decimal point three seven five. Now we're not done yet. Now we have to turn this into a percentage. In order to turn any fraction into a percentage, it's actually fairly simple. You take 3 eighths, and you're going to set that equal to a percentage. Now, Will, uh, what's the best you can get on a percent, on a test? A hundred. A hundred. So does that go on the top or the bottom? Bottom. So that's going to go on the bottom. And then what goes on top? Um, the percent that you got. Okay, now do we know the percentage yet? No. So what is it? Uh, 3 eighths. Nope. X. It's unknown. It's unknown. It's X. That means it's unknown. So now, in order to figure out our percentage, you would have to cross multiply. cross multiply. You could cross multiply, or I'm going to show a shortcut. We can, um, oh, we'll go ahead and cross multiply. That's fine. 8 times x is? 8x. 8x. 100 times 3 is? 300. 300. Now, what do we do next, Will? Divide both of them by 8. Divide both sides by 8. And now we're doing? 300 divided by 8. So I'm going to go over here, grab myself some more space, and we're going to go ahead and do 300 divided by 8. Will, why don't you come demonstrate how to do 300 divided by 8? Sure. Connor, keep filming, please, sir. Okay. So then, 8 goes into 33 times, and it equals 20. 20 times 8 is? 4. Good. And then, it, so it becomes 6, and then you have to bring down the 0, so 8 goes into 60. Right, goes into 67 times, and that equals 50, 6, and then you subtract that and you get 4. Now you have to add a decimal. We can the decimal up, and then, so then you bring down the decimal. So then that equals 40, so it goes in 5 times. Nicely so, done. 37.5 is Okay, so then when it comes to the percentage form, it's 37 point five. And hopefully you remember this. Notice what is very similar about these two. Will? We, um, it's the same numbers, just there's a decimal. The decimal gets moved. In order to go from a decimal to a percentage, actually all you have to do is take the decimal and move it two places to the right. And so 375 thousandths, that's how you read the decimal, turns into 37.5% because you move the decimal two places to the right. Go ahead and hit stop car. Red button.